Hey guys, what is going on? Today I am bringing you a quick tutorial, installation tutorial, and a short, tiny, itsy bitsy, teeny weeny review for the auto for the auto switcher. The switcher? I don't know. I think it's called the auto switcher mod for Minecraft for Mac. Um, I'm doing this on Minecraft 1.5.2, so. Yeah, if you're not on 1.5.2, it probably still works just like this. But, yeah, it's it's definitely, like, if, yeah, never mind, I'm not going to get into it. But it should still work. Super basic. I'm just going to show you guys, literally, it'll take me 10 seconds to show you what it does. This is what it does. Let's say you have, I don't know, you have a golden carrot in your hand, and you start mining wood and you forget to switch tools, it switches for you. And then it switches right back. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, the brightness is low. I always have the brightness low. Sorry, guys. But I always reset my Minecraft and gets rid of everything I have. See, and then, oh, I want to do dirt. Pulls out my shovel. I don't know if you can really see it, but hopefully you can. Shovel. So if you're going straight down, shovel, then it goes to pickaxe, and it goes to pickaxe, and it goes to, you know, it switches it up for you. So it's nice. It's a convenient mod. It doesn't really add anything new to the game. It just makes the game more convenient and easy. Much easier than it used to be. It works with hose. I don't know if it works on mobs. Let's try that out. Oh. Uh, yeah. Do do do. Do do do. Come here, stupid cat. Why did I choose a cat? Out of everything I could have chosen. So dumb. Yeah, see, it works. Perfect. So that's pretty cool. And then it, I, th I think it does work with hose. I'm not going to make a farm right now. But it does work with hose. So that's the mod, guys. Um, oh, let me see if it works with shears really quick, too, while we're at it. She Did I spell that right? Yeah, okay, good. Not that dumb. Let's see if it works with shears. Probably not. No, it takes out the sword. But, you know, it's still cool. So, you know, you can get out your own shears. You can be a little less American. You know, just move the mouse a little or push a number on the keyboard. You can do it. Alright, guys, well, that's it. So let's get into the installation tutorial because this one is a little more difficult than your average installation tutorial. I'll see you th during the tutorial. Alright, well, let's get into this installation tutorial. Uh, ignore what I'm doing right now. I forgot that I didn't force update my Minecraft, so let me just do that in the background really quick. So, I'm force updating, but ignore what I just did. Alright, so go, on to the, go into the description down at the bottom of the video, and there should be three links, maybe four, but I think three. Yeah, I'm not going to install too many items for this one, so there'll be three links. Primary links. There'll be uh, one link for the mod itself, There'll be one link for a mod that you need for the mod. Just go with what I said there. And then the custom Minecraft Forge Universal file that is in almost every video I make. Um, by the way, these two these two are on the same page, but you have to scroll down a little bit to get here. So I just, you know, conveniently made it so you click each one and it takes you there. So, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit download right here. Download. And then right... There, download auto switch. And then while this is while this is counting down, I'm gonna go to the next one and I'm going to hit download. And I'm going to go to the next one and hit download. Hopefully it didn't get confusing, but I just went through all three three links and hit download. Now I'm gonna go back to the ad fly links and I'm gonna hit skip add on both of them. And you're done. You can now exit out of your web browser completely. And now you should have your three downloads. So I'm going to go get them manually so I don't confuse anybody. And I'm going to throw those right there on the desktop. I'm going to spread them out a little bit, keep them kind of organized. This one is kind of separate from these ones. And keep them clean. Alright, so if you have Minecraft open, make sure you exit Minecraft. If your Minecraft is open when you're doing this, it won't work. Just so you know. But I'm hoping you guys already knew that. Okay, so you're going to want to click, or right here, you should see Go. If you don't see Go, click anywhere on your desktop. And for all the people that are subscribed to me, you probably know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to change it up a little. So, you're going to click Go, and you're going to hit the Alt or Option key on your keyboard. The ALT or Option key next to the space bar on either side on your keyboard. This is for a Mac keyboard. You're going to hit that, and you should see the Library folder pop up right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. And if that doesn't work, you can click Go To Folder and type that in. Those are your two ways to get here. I just want to show you guys an alternative way, but I already have mine saved here, so even if I go like this, it's right there. Okay, but, so you're in your library folder, sorry, I got off topic there, and go into application support, and go into Minecraft, lowercase m, 
and go into your bin folder. And now you should see a Minecraft.jar folder. You're going to want to right click on that, click get info, and you're going to want to add .zip to the file, just like that. And then you can exit out. And it should say, are you sure you want to change the extension from .jar to .zip? Click use .zip. Another way to do it is you can just hit enter like that and type it. Either way. I'm just trying to make it easier for you guys. Or harder. I don't know how you want to look at it. But okay, you're going to want to double click on that. And now you should have a Minecraft.jar blue folder and a Minecraft.jar.zip zip file. Put that on the desktop. You're not going to actually need that, but just in case you mess this up, you could drag this back in here, delete.zip, and everything should work again. If it doesn't, make sure to leave a comment. I can get that all fixed up for you. And then go into your Minecraft.jar, and you're going to want to double click MT Forge Una, and then it cuts off there. But open up that zip folder. And you can now delete this zip folder. I'm not going to do it though, it makes a lot of noise. But yeah, you don't need this one. So now you're going to want to open up that blue folder. And that should be the name of it right up here. And then you're going to want to highlight all of these files by hitting Command A. And then you're going to want to copy them all or hit Command C. And you're going to want to go here and hit Command V to paste them all. Check the Apply to All box and hit Replace. All right, so. Now that you've done that, I'm sorry if you could hear that. There was a little earthquake there. Just kidding. It was just an idiot banging on a wall. Um, so you did that, and you're done with the Minecraft.jar. So let's back it up two steps. Doot, doot. All right, so now you're back in your Minecraft folder with the bin, config, resources, saves, texture packs, etc. And you're going to want to right-click, make a new folder, and name it Mods. M-O-D-S. No capitals, no spaces. Just like that. Alright, now you're going to want to get the auto switcher and the bomb zen API folders, these two zip files, and just drag them in there like that. So now when you open it, they should be right there. And you're done. You've successfully installed the mod, I hope. If you follow my instructions, it should work. So let's go test it out and make sure that it worked. This should pop up. That means you did something right. So let it do its thing here. That might take a minute. And then Minecraft should begin to boot up. Let's throw it into full screen here, or semi full screen. And then I'm going to go into single player. This is the mo this is the f this is the I believe this is the world I just used to show you guys the mod. So I should still have the same stuff in my hand. Yeah, cool. And as you can see, it was in it was successfully installed. But wait, let's just make sure we have one thing clear. If I hit F N on my keyboard right now, okay, okay. Let's just I'm just going to take a break here and try and explain this. When you install this mod, it does not work. I don't know for whatever reason why this, why he did this, but the mod will not work. It just won't work. Nothing more to it than that. But the mod won't... Why is it exploding? I, oh, I'm pulling out my shears. Ah, okay, sorry, that's beside the point. But the mod does not work. You have to push the FN key on your keyboard. It's in the bottom left, FN. If you don't have it, you need to get a Mac keyboard. Push that, and then hit F10. I think F10. That's the sound button. And it should now work. As you can see now, it doesn't work for me. And then if I hit it again, FN, and then hit F10 at the same time, it now works again. Alright? So just make that clear. If it does not work, you have to hit FN. Okay? That is FN. Here's the math equation. Plus, right? Let's put a space there. Plus... F10 or sound key equals work. So make sure you use that formula. And you should be good to go, guys. So I thank you guys a lot for watching. And I hope this tutorial worked for you as good as it does for me. So once again, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here. And give this video a like because it's free. Alright, guys. Well, have a good day. Peace out.